Hi, my name's Barry Anderson, and I'm the producer, songwriter, guitar player, and singer for the metal band Baron Ruins. And this is video number 11, based on how to earn national and global ranking and win international awards. Now tonight, we're going to be reviewing our song, Party Like a Rockstar. Now, Party Like a Rockstar has been trending on Reverb Nation for 60 weeks straight. That's the best we've ever done on a song trending on Reverb Nation. Now, Party Like a Rockstar is a heavy metal song with a lot of different nuances, some cool intros, and some really different approaches inside the song, and we're going to analyze that tonight. Now, on Party Like a Rockstar, I was looking for something that was going to be very original. It was going to stop people dead in their tracks. And uh, Randall and Abby was working on this keyboard part, and they brought it to practice when we were putting the songs together. And I go, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, and then we put a little different nuance accent on the second half of that intro. And uh, it, just, it was a sweeping keyboard to just put a little accent and a little more dynamic to where we come into the main theme intro. Now we're going to go through the plugins that I'm using here on this really cool uh, um, intro. It's uh, a Denel gated pad, all custom settings. It's a preset, but these are all custom settings. This works really good on uh, Sins. Um, that's a vol pad that, that we're using as a sample from the Logic Pro X. Now this is the uh, 80 synced uh, Sin lead. And again, it's a Donnell gated pad, all custom settings. This is what she sounds like. Now, this is the main theme intro, and uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Editing this particular intro was a total nightmare because the keyboards were synced up to the bass drums. And I had to use a lot of different plugins and uh, I wanted to manually sync it. I didn't want to automatically sync it because it just didn't sound right. So I wanted to manually sync it. And even though the Logic Pro X samples on keyboards and drums are very, very consistent, there's still a variable there. So we had to first eliminate the variable and that's really about getting inside of the sample itself and editing it. And then we had to use different compression and different gating to manually um, edit it to get it to sync up as perfect as humanly possible. Now we're going to go into the samples that I used um, on this uh, synchronized keyboard that's synchronized to the bass drum. This is an EMO D5. I'm using a Denel male vocal preset with all custom settings. You wouldn't think this would work on a, on a, a synthesizer sample, but it, it worked really, really well. And because I was syncing the keyboards, the sweeps to the bass drums, I'm using a multiple hi-fi drum preset on a multiple compressor. And I'm using the gating as a tightened up uh, gate with uh, a little tighter setting than what would normally be used. Um, but I need it to be really, really accurate and stable. Now this is the drums. Again, the only thing that we're using different on the SoCal drums is the drum bus. It's a preset on the EMO D5 with custom settings. Again, to get the sample drum samples to be as accurate and as precise as possible. Um, these are all custom settings. And um, this is what she's going to sound like. Now on the verse and the chorus, I'm using four different separate guitar tracks. Uh, the first and second guitar track are parallel compressed, but they're played twice. The first guitar track is using the same CLA plugin, but it's parallel compressed against the second one. Now the third and fourth are uh, mono tracks, and they're just panned left and right. 
This is what it sounds like. Now this is the keyboard sample that we're using for the chorus. It's the authentic strings. We're, we have the EQ muted, but all the other plugins are standard, but they do have custom settings, especially on this digital delay here. Um, and we're using the space design the reverb, which with a big spring reverb with uh, minus DB setting on the reverb. And we're using the same guitar and bass guitar settings as the verse and intro. This is what she sounds like. So let's party like some rock stars. Gonna have ourselves so far. We wanna party like some rock stars. Cause the night we're number one. You know, party like a rock star. There's gonna be a prize for me. Again, uh, this is the bridge. This is the bright strings panning. We're using the Donnell EMOD5 uh, preset with custom settings. And uh, this is what she sounds like. So let me Now this is the lead guitar break, and I'm going to go through the plugins I'm using here. This is the CLA Electric Soaring Solo. It's the preset, but all custom settings. I'm just going through the uh, EMOD5 to thicken it up a little bit. This is a startup. It's really just very little settings. It just thickens it up some. And this is the gate. It's on a tighten up gate, just a little tighter than normal. This is what she sounds like. Now hopefully this gives you a little better idea of how we write and record songs. We do have our own approach. I mean everybody does. Now further videos down the road here I will go into much more detail about the plugins I use and, and the, how I use them. I'll also go into automation. If you learn how to automate tracks it can save you a ton of money because if you automate them properly you can get them to pop out of the mix. Now a lot of people love the SSL Wave plugins. I do own them. Uh, they're an excellent plugin, especially if you just plan on using the presets. You can tweak them, just like all the other plugins, but the plugins that I use right now work the best for me. So if you like the video, hit the like. Hopefully you hit the subscribe. And we love the comments, positive or negative. It's the only way we learn what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong.